Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a free AutoCAD blocks and how to use them inside your drawing. So let's get started. The first thing, um, the, the website that I will share with you today is uh, cadblocks.net. And here you can find uh, free blocks that you can uh, navigate between these blocks here to choose the one that you like. Here we have kitchen blocks if you need any kitchen furniture cars, trees, and as you see, there are several uh, categories, even we have here stairs and uh, others. So I really encourage you to check what blocks we have. Let's say that we do need uh, to install some furniture in our drawing. So we can click on the furniture category and inside it we have several uh, blocks here. You can check if you need any of these uh, dining uh, room and if you need elevations, if you need um, uh, for uh, the plan drawing. So just feel free to investigate and just check what is the best ones for you. Uh, for today, I'm going to go with um, the armchair plan card. So I'll click on that and here you find several ones. If you scroll a little bit down, you'll find download card blocks. Click on that. You will get a zip folder installed. Uh, when it's ready, you click on it and then you extract all. You browse to the place where you want to um, save it. So let's say I, I need to put it on uh, the desktop. So you go over there and then you uh, select the folder. If you need to create a new folder for that, that's fine. Or just put it on the correct place in your computer. Then you extract. Okay. Then you just can close that open your AutoCAD drawing. And here you go to insert, uh, insert the blocks, as you see here with the blocks group, insert blocks and uh, insert blocks from libraries. Okay, um, here you will find the most recent ones that you used, anything that's used before. But if you click on this little arrow and uh, you can navigate uh, to the place that uh, you saved your uh, blocks with. And here you go, I saved it here. So you click on the uh, file that you just installed and extracted, then you open. That will take some time uh, to, uh, to come here and you see them. That depends on uh, how big the file is and how uh, uh, your computer and the internet connection and all of uh, these elements. So wait a little bit. It might take a few seconds to a few minutes to get them all. Now, after that, you need to choose uh, which one uh, you want. For example, if I need this armchair here, uh, so I'm going to take it, drag it and drop it to the place and just put it there. Um, always we just make sure that you do have um, a layer for the blocks. If you need to create a layer, you just go ahead and uh, create a, another layer for that. And um, if it's, it's not, so just, okay. So you can uh, create a new layer uh, for the blocks, furniture. And give it a name. Always, I recommend creating uh, more layers to uh, organize uh, your work. You can close it up, make sure it is current. <clears throat> to move the, the chair to this layer, you click on it and you click on the furniture. So that will move it to the correct layer. Make sure it is current. If you need to get uh, more stuff there, uh, if you need to rotate it, you can uh, rotate uh, from uh, the any point that you want, you can move it. So this is the way that uh, you can um, install it and bring it from the library. Now, sometimes uh, what happen that you get the furniture and sometimes it's too small or too big. So what I recommend in this case is to put it outside and uh, always I recommend a line uh, using the align command. As you see here, we do have a line. If I click on a line and um, select object, 
actually the align command is very useful when you have um, when you need to rotate scale and move at the same time so instead of using rotate scale and move you just use align and again align in the uh, it's in the modify command you click on it select object for example i need this one right click to finish selecting then you pick the points. I recommend using object snap in this case. I have the end point. Uh, if I need to put this point next to this, okay, and I pick another point to the end. So I need to move this furniture and put it there, okay? Now I hit enter. You need to scale. If you need to scale, make it larger to match this size. So you put yes or type Y and that will make it uh, large enough. I see now it's too large. I, I need it to be smaller. So what I can do, new enter. New enter will undo what I did and I can uh, use that line command but make it a little bit smaller. So align uh, this object, try to click and I need this to come a little bit Pick another point and this here. Also, I always recommend using the object is now. Enter. Yes, and you bring it here and now it is smaller. Now remember that you can always scale also. So if you have uh, the same furniture here, you can scale it. Okay, uh, from any point, you can use the scale um, from any point and use the scale factor or just pick points there. Uh, now, <clears throat> if you need to scale to a reference, you can go to scale. This furniture, you select what it is, hit the enter or right click, specify base point if you need to scale to a reference and here in this case that you need a line to be equal to another line so the reference line if i need the points for example then zoom in this point okay i need it to be i click here on points from this to this point so now I scale to the reference. So this line that I picked at the beginning is exactly the same like this line on the top. Now you can move and just replace it on the correct one. Uh, can I use that again? If I need to have, for example, scale this black to be exactly the same. So I need the line down here. So you can scale, select object, this is the one enter base point i need here now a uh, reference i need the lines from here you pick the lines that you wanna now you pick points you give two lines from the other one now the line down is equal to the line um on uh, the um a line on uh, for the other one so this is the way you scale to a reference so uh very important to know that with the blocks when you uh install them uh sometimes they are too big or small so make sure you can scale or align so these two commands are very useful with blocks i hope that would be useful thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video